Sadashiva Brahmendra was an Avaduta saint, composer of Carnatic music and Advaita philosopher who lived near Kumbagonam, Tamil Nadu during the 18th century. He was born in a Telugu Brahmin family to Moksha Somasundara Avadhani and Parvati. His initial name was Shiva Ramakrishna before he came to be called Sadashiva Brahmendra. Growing up in a village on the banks of the Kaveri in Tamil Nadu, Sadashiva Brahmendra was a gifted student who excelled in his studies. He became the disciple of Sri Paramasivendra Saraswati, the pontiff of Kanchi Mat. During his discipleship days, Sadashiva Brahmendra used to sing bhajans in a sweet voice. People gathered to hear his wonderful compositions. The songs he composed in the 18th century are filled with adoration for the divine. Due to their lyrical richness and musicality, Sadashiva Brahmendra's timeless compositions are rendered even today by musicians in concerts and spiritual gatherings. These songs are so divine that even those who do not understand Sanskrit, the language in which he had composed these songs, would be filled with divine bliss on a mere hearing of its rendition. A few famous Carnatic songs of Sadashiva Brahmendra in Sanskrit are Pibare Ramarasam, which means Drink in the Bliss of Rama, Manasa Samcharare, Brahmani Manasa Samcharare, which means Hey Mind, Dwell on Brahman, and many such beautiful compositions in many ragas, a few of which are Kalyani, Todi, and Sindhu Bhairavi. After an early marriage, when he was 17 years old, Sadashiva Brahmendra renounced the world and performed strenuous spiritual practices for 18 years. He was adept in Vedas and Shastras and thus became a good speaker in public gatherings. This quality of his also brought about a turning point in his life. One day, he was taunted by his guru for his talkativeness. Hearing these words, Sadashiva Brahmendra, out of sincere devotion towards his guru, took an oath of silence and followed it for the rest of his life. Thus, he wandered either naked or semi-naked and often in a trance-like state. He is also said to have performed many miracles in his lifetime. Once on the river banks of Kaveri in Mahadanapuram, Sadashiva Brahmendra was asked by some children to be taken for an annual festival to Madurai which was more than 100 miles away. The saint asked them to close their eyes and a few seconds later they reopened their eyes and found themselves in Madurai. Another strange incident occurred during the time of Sadashiva Brahmendra. While relaxing near a heap of grains, Sadashiva began meditating. The farmer who owned the land mistook Sadashiva for a thief and confronted him by raising his stick to beat the saint. Instantly, the farmer was turned into a statue and remained in this state until the next morning. After Sadashiva finished meditating, he smiled at the farmer who was restored miraculously to his original state. The farmer realized his grave mistake of attempting an assault on the saintly person and thus sought his forgiveness. Once, the naked Sadashiva Brahmendra walked right through the Muslim harem of a Nawab. As a Brahman Yani who sees nothing but Brahman everywhere, Sadashiva was oblivious to his surroundings. News of his naked presence in the Nawab's harem reached the Nawab who ordered his men to chop off both his hands. The moment the Nawab gave orders to his men, Sadashiva Brahmendra arrived in his presence and the sage's hands strangely fell off on their own. Yet, Sadashiva Brahmendra continued to walk as if nothing had happened to him. Realizing that Sadashiva Brahmendra was a noble soul, the Nawab who witnessed this spectacle became scared, picked up those dislodged hands of Sadashiva Brahmendra and implored the sage to seek his forgiveness. Miraculously, 
the severed hands attached themselves to the body of the sage and the naked sanyasi resumed walking as if nothing had happened he is the author of several works the following works have been printed or published brahma sutra vritti or brahma tatva prakashika a commentary on brahma sutras yoga sudhakara a commentary on patanjali's yoga sutras siddhanta kalpavalli an abridged version of appaya dikshitar's work who was a renowned practitioner of advaita vedanta advaita rasa manjari shri shri sachidananda shiva abhinava narasimha bharati pontiff of the shringeri sharada peetam had visited nerur one of the samadhi places of sada shiva brahmendra and composed two shlokas called sada shivendra stava and sada shivendra pancharatna in praise of shri sada shiva brahmendra shri vasudevanand saraswati also known as tembe swami a great saint of maharashtra visited nerur in 1907 and composed a hymn on shri sada shiva brahmendra which is mentioned in his biography Sada Shiva Brahmendra is said to have attained samadhi in 1756 around April May the exact places cannot be ascertained as there are five different places attributed to his samadhi namely Nerur Manamadurai Omkareshwar Kashi and Karachi in present day Afghanistan near the Sindhu river Om Namah Shivaya